not going in like the old days. Just a conversation. Nothing's ever just a conversation with you, John. Reach the Welcome uh, to the Hump Day Show, presented to you by the Three Way Podcast. This is Linkster 101. This is JRX4, JP, Elias. What? I was doing the Three Way Podcast gang sign. Oh, okay. We're we're not trying to get cops up in this bitch. Uh, So today, we're going to bring to you what I think is an amazing movie, in my opinion, if you love action, of course, uh, which is John Wick 3. So I went to go see John Wick 3. Uh, the day after it came out, and it just blew my mind how good it was. Better than the second, okay. I have to say. Yeah, it was really, really good. <laughs> yeah, uh, so yeah, John Wick 3, directed by Chad Shashesky. Shashesky. Sure. Shashesky. So this guy, basically, the only thing he's ever directed is John Wick. <laughs> Which he's done an amazing job, he's, Yeah, he did say. one, two, and three. And supposedly there's going to be a fourth now. No, there is going to be a fourth. The way they, they this Yeah, came no, no, out. yeah, there's a confer- confirmation. Of yeah, they already came out, yeah. But anyways... So yeah, this movie starring, of course, Keanu Reeves, old ass, fifty year old man. Man, he's aged well, dude. And if like, I could age like that, cause he could pull any hoe. And like right now. this man, like, oh, man, I don't know how he does it, man. He's just, he just, yeah, he just ages like fine wine. Man, I'm gonna tell you one thing, man. <laughs> Looking into the movie though, I don't know if it's because they made it the script that way. Mm-hmm. Uh, he looks like he is getting a little bit older in the movements though. He was a little, yeah, they, was a little stiff man. Yeah. I don't know if it was because of the movie, because of what was going on. No, uh, yeah, I, I know what you mean. But uh, yeah, so this movie uh, basically picks up right after the second one. Yes. Uh, so in the second one, at the end of the second one, spoilers if you haven't seen it. He kills someone in the hotel. like he, Yeah, he kills somebody he's not supposed to, on, on property, he's not yeah. supposed to so, kill. So basically he lives in an assassin world. He's brought into it because uh, a group of Russians uh, kill his dog. And he was going through a depression because of his wife. Oh, that's part he, one. Yeah, yeah, that's part one. He goes berserk and he fucking destroys all of them. The right. Baba Yaga. Yeah, ba- the Baba Yaga. Baba Yaga. Baba Yaga. And Baba so then Yaga. after that, on the second one, he gets another dog. Oh, yeah, he gets another dog. And he gets he gets that one at the end of part at one. At the end of part one. And in this yeah. dog, you know, he's doing it's this, a, doing it's a pit that. Bull, isn't it? Yeah, it's a little pit bull. A little, a little, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a gorgeous it's a fucking one. pit bull. Yeah. I just kept thinking, oh, I want to pit it. And then, <laughs> that's what I do with my corpse. I'm like, come here. Um, so he uh, gets his dog, and then the second one he he goes a little it goes a little bit more into depth on in how the assassin world works. Yeah, and the second one they go more into depth of how the the assassin the, the assassin's like world works. There and there's codes, there's the, rules and regulations, rules and regulations, and how you cover up, uh, how you take a contract. Mm-hmm. Um, they show the blood. Um, like yeah, it's some kind of like blood seal. And so they force John Wick know. due to a blood seal. They force John Wick. But to- basically, yeah, I mean, <clears throat> I mean, this movie pretty much like we said picks up from the second one, and like it, it, it starts off, man, it starts off really good. Really good. He's running for his life. So keep in yeah. mind that he's been in excommunicado. 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 And so he's been excommunicado, and then so basically no one's allowed to help him, but he only has. 30 minutes left so he's running his ass off and the little pimple is yeah. like right next to him looking out you know you know what shit. I did notice too damn this chair is loud as fuck uh, <laughs> <laughs> that that uh, the amount of money that was on his bounty it was so little at first I was like at first I'm like he's ex Kimonokado and like but the reason and why- then like everybody's like hunting for him and then it's only like what, like five G's or four, four million in the beginning or something. It's like, like that? it's like fourteen, five fourteen million. Like, fourteen. But like, the reason man, why I'll, I'll, I'll that's explain. So little. I'll, I'll, it's so little, but I explain. It's John Wick. He's a legend. So mm-hmm. if you kill John Wick, you're the known as the assassin who killed John Wick. True. So people are like trying to gun for that spot. True. So I mean, uh, it starts off like there, there. You know, he's excommunicado. He's running. He's trying to get supplies or whatever. And he has a couple of minutes left, so he goes. He's trying to find supplies and guns. No, well, and, before and, all like, that, little, little he, coins. He he's actually still wounded from the fight that he was uh, the last one he was in. And then, uh, so he tried to go to that doctor. No, 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 no. This is no, no, because no. he goes to the library first. He has like extra stuff there in the library. Oh well, man, he just grabs. Some he just grabs a book, some, and so shit that and we see a, we see yeah. an NBA star pop up. Uh, he plays for the 70, uh, Philadelphia 76ers, which is that big guy. Um, the one that fights him in the library. Oh, that was where he, that's where he, a basketball player. Yeah, he's a basketball player oh, for the Seventy Sixers. He so, was a terrible actor. Yeah, he's, he was not great. But the ass kicking, he uses that book like. 
So he smashes his freaking face with a book. With the book, y'all. With the book. That's how good this movie starts off. You're like, God damn, hell yeah. So and yeah, so he's collecting some items that he needs for later. Correct. Um, and then he goes to that doctor guy. He get he's trying to get stitched up, but as soon, but in the in the time he was trying to get stitched up, his time expired. Expires. So now he the the bounty is in effect. His his uh, comunicado ex is, is is in full effect, and nobody's supposed to help him because in this world, like if you help John Wick after oh after anybody who's ex comunicado, you get killed. You you get killed yourself. So when when this happens, like the doctor guy's like, mm, mm, I don't want to help you no more because he was still stitching him up yeah. like, during this. So time. John Wick starts stitching himself yeah, up, and John's he's trying like, to get some it. pills. Take a shot. Yeah, he's, and then. And the doctor's like, the pills are up there. And he's like, thanks, doc. And he's like, you're going to have to shoot me. He's like, why? He's like, because I helped you to like, where the pills are. Know. So he's like, oh, okay. So he shoots him in the stomach, like, through his arm. He shoots him, like, right here. And he shoots him right here, too. And he shoots him, like, in the stomach. Yeah. So then he takes off running. And as soon as he steps off running, we see, like, these yeah, Asian this, people, like, this, there this, he goes. And then they This next him. part, actually, from this moment on, you really see, like, this assassin shit it, it, it's like everywhere. It's, Every, you don't know it's where it's coming everywhere. from. Everywhere. Yeah. It looks like it literally, like, like, dude, you can be a fucking assassin right now. Thank God, right now I'm not excommunicated. <laughs> but, man, dude, like, I'm it, too fat to be an assassin. Like, um, so yeah, so apparently the whole wide world's after this fool. Uh, again, I didn't think the, the bounty was all that high, but he, now that you mentioned that, yeah, it's John Wick, and that's probably what really because drawn everybody saying, to try You're John to Wick, him. and then like he's walking because he gets out of the library and he's putting stuff up, and then he sees like this homeless man. Homeless man, it's almost time, John. Oh Wick. yeah, he's he, uh he's uh he was part of that other crew with uh with Lawrence Fishburne. Lawrence Fishburne, yeah. Yeah. So so I mean, John Wick is running for his life. He runs into this building and like he starts, which I thought was really cool. He locks his door behind him and he starts building a gun from like the gun parts that are there mm -hmm. because he doesn't have anything. So he's building the guns and all of a sudden he gets one in the chamber and boom, they both had their open. He just goes Pah! and headshot, dude. <laughs> Talking about headshot. Then after that is non-stop action. He's fighting his way through yeah, and trying this, to stay in alive. In this scene, like you see him like, like pretty much they they they, they usually whatever they ended up in like in a, in, a, in like a museum or something it was like a museum for like arts and old weapons and like but it was like in a room with nothing but knives in this and honestly it's probably like my favorite scene in the whole movie i think so too like it, the, the it was the a way, little bit unrealistic and i'll explain why the way they used all the knives like literally they, they were just busting out the cabinets and just grabbing the knives and yeah the, like chunking in them but wait wait <laughs> he he breaks a window like he breaks it and then he grabs the, the shards of glass uh, and he throws them <clears throat> so no he grabs the knives inside no he grabs the shards he grabs the shards he grabs them in the hand he chunks it out I don't remember. I thought he was just grabbing knives because it was nothing but knives in that light area. I don't know. Well, what if it, hopefully it was knives. I have to take. I was trying the movie theater guys, and we were kind of late, so I was like this, <laughs> screwed right here. I was like the first two rows of <laughs> shitty ass seats. But fuck it. Anyways, um, so he he's fighting, he's killing, he does some badass knife work there, and I he showed his flexibility as far as how because this is all him. You, you could tell there was no stunt actor. No, I mean, he does his own stunts. Like, you could tell this is all him. Like, the I way mean, the camera angle was, he it does, didn't, like, chop, chop, chop. He does chop, chop. so like, much of his own stunts. But, I mean, uh, he did train for this. He, he's, you could tell. He's dedicated to this. But at the same time, too, like, he... You can see too, like um, some of the people that they they got on to to like be, I guess the the, the people that he kills, whatever. Mm -hmm. I, I felt throughout the movie they were kind of like lacking, like they weren't really like like selling to me that they were like like assassins and then that they knew what they were doing. At times it felt clunky and well, shit. Well, I, I think the first the first fight, yeah. Uh, but the first fight was very well choreographed. No, nah, for me it was like pretty much throughout the whole movie because it was so many, it's so many different actors. Yeah. And, and so like right yeah. after that, he he kills everybody. He runs out and he's trying to trying to get away. And then these other people come through and he goes to a horse stable and like he's fighting them in the horse stable. He's using the mm -hmm. horse mm -hmm. to kick them out, so he's killing them. Then he grabs one of the horses. He runs off. Then we have a motorcycle gang. Cause guys, this is an action movie. It's back to back to back action. It's mm -hmm. not like. It's, it's like, you know, all drama. No, it's Yeah, boom, in, boom, the, boom. in the beginning, it picks up really quick. You see a lot of action. Uh, basically, you try to see John survive and get to this one location, which is where he came from. Like, it's an orphanage. Yeah. And 
Uh, that's after the horse. After the yeah, horse. yeah. I mean, I mean, we only have so much time. I don't yeah. want to scene by scene, but like, so he, he basically, yeah, dude. And like, you find in, out he's in Russian the, in the beginning. Like, you see all this stuff. He like he's he's finding his way through all these fucking people. Like the different like teams of assassins come looking for his. He does about four teams, four or five. And teams. like, so he finally gets to this orphanage. Basically, uh, this is like an origin for him because we we didn't know he was an orphan. Yeah, orphan, and right? you can tell he was trained to be an assassin. Yeah, there's a part where he's walking mm-hmm. with the lady because the lady's not supposed to help, but she's like, "Why am I helping you?" And he's like, "No, but um, I have this." And he, he shows. Yeah, like a it, cross. it was like some kind of that's like, where he was uh, getting the supplies from and stuff. It was like some kind of like a, like a cross and some kind of symbol saying like if he ever needed help, his ticket, like, he kept a one, on like a ticket, like a one time kind of thing. Like this is the thing he would use, and like he he brought it to her, and he, she's like, "Fuck it, whatever." But in order to use it, they had to like uh, burn in his back, burn it on his back, like uh, they branded him. They branded his ass. I'm like, damn. Dude. And so right after that, he 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 get, he's sent away. <clears throat> he's sent away, and then they have like this this new character where like she yeah uh, because it's like it's the it's a table, and then underneath the table they keep saying. So that. yeah, we we find out more about like the I the, guess the hierarchy of yeah. this of the assassins world. And like there's a there's a table, there's a high table, and there's a like one person basically that runs the whole org. And like John he, Wick is trying to find John that Wick is looking for that one yeah. guy. Because literally there's nobody else that can really help him in terms of like ending the the excommunicado crap. Until that until him. Yeah. So so he, he while he's there, um this person comes in and she's like she's like telling everybody who was involved. The yeah. guy who was at the hotel that helped him escape where he shot that. Oh, other that's guy. uh Ian McShane. Yeah. Uh, he plays uh, Winston. He, she tells Lauren Fishburn Fishborn. Um who's a Bowery King? Yeah, he's a Bowery King. He's, Bowery. he's like the pigeon guy. He's that the, pigeon, the, pigeon, guy. the yeah. pigeon guy. She's like, gather your affairs and pick your replacement because it's uh, done and over with. And then she not oh, only, she not only goes to them. You're talking about the uh the adjudicator. Adjudicator, yeah. What the Fuck, whatever the fuck <laughs> the adjudicator yeah, um, played by AG, Asia Asia K, K. Dillon. Dillon so anyway the adjudicator goes like around that. and tells all the people that were involved in part 2 that were like leaders she's like get your affairs in order and so she goes and she hires like these actual uh, assassins assassins like these you could tell were highly trained yeah these guys uh, are led by this guy named Zero who's played by Mark Daka? Yeah, Mark, Mark Daka. And Daka he's Daka creepy was... and weird. He's like I, I, a, I liked him. He was like a big fan of John Wick. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, pretty much all the assassins. Yeah. Right. So then uh, she gets him. She's like, it's for John Wick. And he's like, you don't even have to ask. Yeah, I'm she's... Ready. So she basically goes uh, down the line of people who's been helping John, especially uh, up until the moment that... Uh, that they, it's because he killed somebody that was a part of the high table, right? Yes. And then, and because he did that, they were like going down the line of who helped him, how did he get to this uh, point to be able to do it? So she, throughout the movie, was like, like, okay, you helped him, you, you could have stopped him, but you didn't. You helped him, you could have stopped him, but you didn't. So this is your consequence. So this is punishment. And, and they all get like their own yeah. punishments, but so, at the so, same time, like they're she's killing yeah. off like their teams. So like th- these guys that she hires, they're, like their assassins, they go and like supposedly they're the best of the best. They go and the Russian lady that helped him, they they put a sword through her hand, uh, which I thought was one of the most grotesque scenes where she's like, hold out your hands. And mm-hmm. she's like, I will serve. And then they just slice right through her hand. Oh, yeah. And then she's like, eh. um, So there was right. that. And then for Loris Fishborn, they were like, you gave me seven bullets. We're going to give you seven cuts. Oh, yeah. And cuts so it. they cut the hell out yeah, that motherfucker. That motherfucker. And, <laughs> yeah. and then after that, um, you know, she's preparing the hotel guy. She's like, I'm going to come after you. Yeah, Winston. So Winston's punishment was to give up the hotel. And he's like, I ain't giving shit up. Yeah, I'm not giving it up. And she's like, well, we going to fight. He's like, all right, bring it on then. But I mean, he didn't tell her that right away. This he is didn't like, tell her about, yeah, this is later. But so it was anyway, like seven days. So after yeah. the seven cuts, after the seven cuts scene, uh, you go to I guess the Middle East. I don't know how John Wick got there so quickly. Like the movie doesn't tell you; it just zooms right back there. And but he's in, I mean, yeah, I mean the 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 lady that helped him at the orphanage, the director is what they're calling her. In the yeah, movie, she uh, she pretty much uh, uh, set up the his travel to go with her. Yeah, and then from there he meets up with Halle Berry's character. Halle Halle Berry, uh, Sophia, fun. Halle Berry, man, is, she's so fun. Who like mm. it, in terms of the movie world, like she she's she asked him for help, so they had the Mark Two. The Mark Two. So yeah. he's like, hey man, you asked for my help, then I helped you, and I didn't have to. Yeah. Now you have to help me. And she's like, motherfucker. Fine, I'm gonna help you. She has these two gorgeous, outstanding dogs. I don't know what the fuck they're called. They're not uh, German shepherds, no, but they're, they're fucking gorgeous. I mean, but uh, but anyways, like, uh, so these, uh, so she she's like hesitant to help him, of course. Uh, again, can't help him. Can't help anybody who's excommunicated. Yeah. Uh, so she 
she's like, okay, well, basically what John did was help her get rid of her mm-hmm. kid, like hide her. Hide her. Her daughter. Her daughter. So she doesn't even know where the kid is. But anyways, so they go talk to this one guy, the guy yeah, who so, makes like, yeah. what, what so, do you make? The so, coins, right? Yeah. And that, not only that. The uh, currency in John Wick says, that's the guy that can help me find the person who's on the high table. Right. So can I get a meeting with him? She's like, fine, I'll help you. So they go, they have a meeting with him. And he's like, I gave you this valuable information. Yeah. But actually, uh, the guy they went to go meet up is actually from Brom. Game of Thrones. Yeah. Brom, Brom, from, from, Brom, Game Brom from Game of Thrones. Um, and uh, he's not a very good actor, in my opinion. Uh, it just no. wasn't good. But he did his part well. Um, so basically, he's petting one of the dogs. He's in love with one of these dogs. And then, like, he gives him the information. You have to go walk in the desert and then walk some more and then walk some more. Yeah, I mean, you're ba- almost dead basically, he was saying, look, the, you're not going to find this guy. The guy's going to find you if yeah. he wants to. Yeah. So if you want to do it, you got to walk through the desert, blah, blah, blah. Whatever. So, so then after that, right, after that, uh, she, he's like, give me my dog. Like, yeah, because he, wa- he wants tribute for basically helping them, especially since he knows. I, I give tribute. I don't know. <laughs> and then like, <laughs> and then like, so she doesn't want to give up the dog. Uh, the guy's like, okay, then well, I gotta kill the dog. So he shoots the dog. So he shoots the, the, do- the dog. The dog has like both of them have like body armor. Oh, so. bulletproof vest. So I don't know how you gonna not shoot them in the chest. Uh, you sh- you should shoot them in the head. Anyway, <laughs> point is the bullet bounces off, and she's like, attack, and then all hell, and then like. And then John Wick's like, dumb. Now nah, you win it. Now nah, you win it. Boom. All this fighting starts nah, happening. And she like has these words. I don't know if they're Russian, but she like says these words and these dogs grab people's balls. They rip them apart. They grab their arms, their throat. Like they go <clears> up. <throat> they jump off her back. Like this whole fight scene, the sequence, it's incredible. And honestly, yeah, John, good. And honestly I wasn't even concerned about John Wick. I was just concerned about these dogs and where I can find them and locate them. Um, yeah, I mean, the, the the sequence that happened here was really good. Really good. Like, the way they I thought it was it, excellent. It was extremely well done. I and think. like grabbing balls and ripping them off. Like that and, was like, uh, So, okay. So once we move past this scene, uh, it goes to like, okay, she drops them off in the desert. So this fool is like walking around like a dumbass for like, I don't know, like a day or two. Well, she does a bitch move. She like, she has a little bit of water. She gives it to her dogs, ah, okay, which man. is what she's supposed to do. And then she drinks the rest and then she spits the rest back. Like, slap. Slap right there. But what, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But anyway, moving forward. Anyways, like... He walks to the desert. So he walks to the desert. He finds the guy. Well, the guy finds him. And basically, he's like, mm, okay, I'll, I'll undo the excommunicated bitch shit, <laughs> but you got to do something for me. And he's like, what? I'm like, what? What do you want? <laughs> he's like, well, what? you have to go kill Winston. You have to go kill Winston. And he's like, that's my friend. I don't give a fuck. I don't give you a gonna fuck. kill Winston. Uh, but before that, though... You're gonna have to give me some tribute. You're gonna have to give me some motherfucking like, tribute. Like, you're gonna have to let your old life behind. Yeah. So, one of the best scenes no. of the movie, no. gangsta ass John Wick goes, yak. He has his, remember, he still has his engagement ring from when his wife died. And he just, chop, 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 chops that shit off like a G. It, doesn't it, look, it wasn't chop, chop, chop. It was just one time. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> it was painful. It was. Uh, and he just gives that finger to him, and the guy looks at his finger, throws it away, and keeps the, the actual ring. So maybe that'll have a part to play in the next movie? I mean, Who knows? at this point, like, a lot of the movie was, like, from the beginning. Well, actually, from the first one. It was mostly, like, him, like, trying to get away from the life. He wanted to be but happy with his, with his wife. Uh, and then uh, when she died... It was the dog, pretty much all he had left, because uh, the, the, uh, his ex-wife, like, oh, the wife that passed away is the one that gave him the dog before she and died. And they killed the dog. And, and then they killed the dog. <laughs> but then when you get to this point, it's like... He's accepted he, it. He, he, has, like, he, he has the choice. Really, at this point, honestly, if he was really, really about it, he would have died right there and then. Yeah. But he, he came back to the life. And, like, pretty much, like, part one and two are, like... Kind of like meaningless. Meaningless. Well, like his we'll whole see. journey is like yeah. meaningless. It's been really well because he he pretty much like went back on everything he was trying to work for and did for his wife. Yeah. But anyways, it was well written, man. All this has been well written. So he yeah. he does that and then he goes back to the hotel. Um, oh yeah. So way. they so they go back to the hotel. Well, well he, he, he goes, goes to the uh, uh, airport first, and then those three assassins, the ones that were doing the seven cuts and everything. They come to attack him, like, cause a couple of people come coming out, and then all these. Oh yeah, and what the fuck? All of a sudden they they, like, can, they can teleport and shit. I don't know what the fuck. The fuck? Point <laughs> is, he, he rides in the subway. The assassins start attacking him, whatever. He runs to the hotel. He touches the hotel doorstep. He's allowed in. Uh, he steps in, and Winston's like, "Are we gonna have to fight? And we gonna have to kill that bitch?" Yeah, cause um, Winston didn't want to give up the hotel, mm-hmm. so he decides. 
to go to, to war. Go to war. But like John was there to kill him. And then he convinced John not to kill him, but to join his side. To join his side. And yeah. to go to war against the high table. So John's like, fuck it, whatever. So let's go to war. So I think at this point is where they try to redeem what he did earlier and saying like he's coming back to the world, but really he doesn't want to really come back. Well, I mean, the, the, the hotel gets attacked. Mm-hmm. It's a really good sequence. Uh, there's like bulletproof all over except the neck. Yeah, like the, hard the, time. the high table brings in like all these people with like the, like the top tier bulletproof armor, helmet, tippy toe, like all throughout. Yeah. And like John... And like that other guy, the who, hotel manager, the hotel manager, they just like, start whooping ass. Yeah, they're just a um, uh, uh, challenge. Yeah, all I know is like that first they're like struggling, and then like they go back to the room because like there's a safe where Winston has yeah, all his weapons. Yeah, it's like a safe room with all the yeah. weapons and. And then ammo. Winston's just drinking tea, and then like I mean, well, wine, and then they come in, they're like, we, we need more, and they're like, we, we need, need shotguns. shotguns. Yeah, so they get shotguns and they go at it. I thought it was one of the best scenes. They go mm. and they kill everybody. So then, while um, you know. John Wick faces the main adversary, which is those three assassins. He beats all of them. Um, yeah. And then he goes to Winston. And Winston is, like, already won. He's at the very top with Adjudicator. And the Adjudicator had, wants to negotiate. And he's like, well, I Parlay. Want, parlay. Parlay. Are we parlay? And then, like, she's like, well, what do you want, Winston? And Winston's like, I want my hotel. I want my power. Mm-hmm. She's like, fine, you got it. But what are we going to do about this sucker? And she points at John Wick. He's like, well, he's well, he got to die. die. And so he shoots him, which I thought was a big surprise. And this fool falls all the way down from the like, building. At first, when I saw that, I was like, they probably planned that. I mean, they knew something like yeah, that was right? going to happen. But then, like, when I thought about it, I was like, nah, they ain't going to let that motherfucker fall off the building like that. Yeah. <laughs> so John Wick falls down, and Winston's like, oh, well. And he's like, just, just so you know, that's the Baba Yaga. He's going to come back after us if he's still alive. And she's like, what did you do? What do you mean? And then they look, and John Wick's gone. One of the homeless people from that guy with uh, Lauren yeah. Fishburne, they picked him up. And all we see is at the end of Lauren Fishburne saying, hey, are you mad like me? I'm pissed, or whatever. And John Wick, you know, gives him the middle finger and says, yeah, we ready. So that's where the story ends. Uh, essentially, yeah. it's gonna, there's going to be, it's already it's been confirmed in part four. The Matrix right there. Um, so, yeah. So I'm excited for it. I enjoy the movie. Mm. I give it an 8.5. Yeah, the movie was really good. It was really entertaining. Really entertaining. Uh, some of the story though, like the, the the way they they structured it, I don't agree with how they did it. I don't like how some of the actors they picked weren't doing their job either. Like I don't know, it, it, you can see that some other like the punches were coming because you could see them like getting ready. Like for choreograph, it. yeah. It was super cool. Well, they'll, they'll work on it. They probably yeah. make it a little bit better. I think it was just too much. They should have done a little they bit less. They did a lot. They did a lot. It was probably a lot, a lot, a lot for them. And I don't know. It was probably difficult. Yeah, too, I think if they would have kept it more basic, it would have been more. But uh, anyways, yeah, I give this movie like literally like yeah like an eight, eight out of ten. It was pretty good. I thought it was like nine, close to a nine. The only reason I don't give it a nine is because it didn't finish. Mm, no, I give it. I don't give it a nine for other reasons. But no, it was a really good movie. Highly, highly recommend. Highly recommend to go see it. What one and two and three? Two is not as good as three. Yeah, I so, mean, which is surprising because you know how sometimes when three is not good as two, uh, like in Spider Man. <laughs> what are you talking about? You didn't like the dancing Tobey Maguire? Uh, I did not like the dancing Tobey Maguire. That was one of the worst. Hey, Mary Jane. <laughs> when he had the black was, suit with uh, oh, what's no. it, what's the other guy's name? And Topher then it was Grace. Like Denim, and then it was like the wrong. Oh, just, oh, let's not even think about that. It was so bad. Uh, but yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Ring that bell. Ring that bell. And also, uh, we're on everything. Uh, iTunes, Apple yeah. Podcasts. Main podcast is on uh, Mondays. Yes. Thank you so much for the 100 uh, subscribers. We're very happy. Yeah, we're going to sure. keep working hard to make that into 1,000 subscribers. Yee. Yee. So help us out and uh, peace. Right. Bye bye.